All right, welcome, welcome everybody. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, it's the end of the month already, OMG. <clears throat> Today we are doing the second part of Jordan uh, Certificate Workshop. So again, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, appreciate it. And we'll be doing these now every Saturday also um, for next month. So uh, got the calendar set up. I'm going to be sending it out today. Um, next Tuesday, we're doing Palm Springs Mammoth. Uh, Friday, Anaheim, Huntington and um, Marina. Um, the other one. Uh, Saturday, we're going to finish up Disney and AM Resorts. We're going to do New Orleans um, the next day, next week, the London, Harry Potter, Seven Wonders of the World, or Clea. We're trying to figure those two out. U.S. National Parks, Greece, Philippines, Finland, Scotland. And then, uh, like I said, we'll figure out um, the two Saturdays. So Christine is amazing helping me with that. So we'll get you guys going on that. So today we're going into Travel Agent Academy. Again, um, if you're just joining us, thank you for joining us. Um, all my trainings are recorded and they're put right here on my YouTube channel. Now, Christine has um, completed some for me when I was on vacation, which that's what I'm going to be doing next month or next week. I'm actually leaving on a cruise on Monday. Um, these two are actually being downloaded right now. And then I'm going to add the ones that uh, Christine did too. So uh, just look here. They're all right here. As you look here under videos, all our trainings are in here. If you missed the first part of Jordan, it is right here. You can catch up. Okay. Uh, Marty, I see your screen. I see you, but I don't see your screen. I don't know if anybody else is. Oh, just me. here you go. There you go. All right. There we go. See that? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. All right. So here's my YouTube channel, guys. Again, um, we do record them. Here is the link. Um, so if you miss Jordan, it's right here. We've done Thailand. Um, here's the travel agent opportunity, guys. I just sent a follow up. I said, hey, watch the video, guys. It's, a, you know, you were interested in travel. They came back. I watched the video ready to sign up. So again, I tell people, follow up, follow up, follow up. That's if you want to do the residual, the team building. Again, it's up to you. That's optional. Um, I choose to do that a lot because it's guaranteed money every month, okay? Um, if you're interested in that, guys, again, we have a training on it. We have a separate group on that, um, which it's down here, team building, um, beginner team building training or whatever. So I've got a few of those. Um, also, how to do, you know, different things, how to order your Kimbo card, how to post your, your, your ad, um, your certificate, how to do commissions, etc. So I've got a lot of training on here for you guys. So make sure you check it out. But today we are finishing up Jordan. So you're going to go ahead and log into the Travel Agent Academy. And we're going to go to Jordan, which I think is on the second page. So click all and then you'll click next. And it's right here, Jordan, okay? So great information. If you missed the first part, guys, uh, definitely rewatch it or, or go through it. Again, we have it recorded. Um, but yeah, if you have anybody that wants to go on some, you know, Holy Land tours and stuff, this is the one to do, okay? And as I said, as you do these trainings, as you see graduate benefits, you're going to get a certificate. You're also going to get four continuing ed units for the Travel Institute. So we need to go to that, Christine and Sandy, those two are my helpers, um, and make sure we're, we start loading our um, education certificates in there, okay? Uh, promotion and listing of your company on the Jordan Tour Tourism Board and all promotional activities. Plus, you get to qualify for FAM trips. Again, FAM trips, guys, if you don't know what that is, we have a lot of agents over in Granada right now. I think they left yesterday. Uh, but usually, they're three to four day trips. Most of the time, they're either free or very highly discounted. And you get to go and learn about the resorts, learn about the, you know, the tours, the excursions, et cetera. So definitely uh, stay plugged in. Finish these um, uh, uh, 
uh, certificates. So you will get notified of that. OK, so as you see here, we have completed up through one through four and there's eight. So we're going to be starting down here on chapter five. Again, if you're just joining us, you haven't completed the first part right here are all the answers and everything. So we do record this also. Um, if for any reason you have to jump off, this will be recorded. And um, so let's go ahead and get started again. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead. A lot of people will follow along on their phone and do the test online. So um, again, uh, we will wait for you. We don't leave anybody behind. We want to make sure everybody passes. Okay. All right. So adventure travel, let's get started. And I forgot to put my speakers on also tell you I'm a procrastinator. All right. Adventure travel to Jordan. The following is an introduction to some of the many major sites in Jordan attractive to um, the adventure traveler. You'll find more information, including extensive resources to assist you in building programs for this market in the Adventure Master's course. All right. With uh, why Jordan for adventure travel? Well, with its unique location along the Great Rift Valley, Jordan has many natural advantages to make it a premier destination for adventure travel enthusiasts. Jordan boasts sunshine for eight months of the year, a wealth of historical and cultural attractions that are perfect for outdoor exploration, such as Petra, uh, Wadi Rum, Dana, Jirash, desert castles, etc., and a stunning variety of landscapes. This makes it a playground for adventure seekers, which is easily accessible and virtually undiscovered by the tourism in industry. Go scuba diving, horseback riding, take a four by four ride through sand dunes, rock climb in the middle of the desert, go canyon, canyoning, nearing through Jordan's water filled slot canyons camp uh, with the Bedouins, Bidou, that's right, or take off on one of the many hiking trails available through the country. All right, and then you can click on here to see the different um, attractions. Uh, that's a banana boat, if you've never seen that. And then, of course, horseback riding. All right. Um, adventure specialties. Feeling super adventurous? Jordan accommodates all adventure requests. So trekking and hiking. So um, click on the buttons for, okay. So there are hundreds of established hiking trails throughout Jordan, as well as available operators who specialize in creating personalized treks. Some of the popular locations include Wadi Museum along the East Coast. Again, guys, please, um, my pronunciation isn't the best on some of these. Uh, Dana, Biosphere Reserve, Desert of Wadi Araba, Petra and Surrounding Mountains, Wadi Rum Desert, Al um, Ajlon, I am not signed up yet for the travel and my first time coming to this Zoom. Okay, Sushana, congratulations. Welcome aboard. Um, to sign up, it is very easy, okay? You just go to the Travel Agent Academy. Um, you log in, sign up. It's very easy to do that. Um, and let me see really quick here. So um, account. So when you sign up, um, the information is all right here. You put your information, you um, just put the IATA number, the CLIA, and then uh, Travel Leaders Network, okay? So very easy to sign up, guys, okay? So just go into the link um, here and then just register. If you have questions regarding what to put in there, just ask us again. Um, no, but you have the clean, you have the IATA number. Okay, that's you given to you um, as soon as you do your certification. It's right there. Okay, and then Travel Leaders Network, guys. Travel Leaders Network. All right, and only fill out what is mandatory. As you see here, this doesn't show that you have to fill this out. So just say yes, yes, submit. Go to Jordan, which is on the second page. You'll just go to Course Catalog and then click all, and then you'll see that it's um, uh, Jordan, okay? And that's where we're at. So again, right now I'm just reading. We will wait for you for the test, okay? And then as I said, the first part of Jordan, we do have it recorded for you. So you can go back and finish that, okay? All right, thank you. Again, if you have any other questions, put it in the chat box. Can you show one more time, please? Yes. All right, so let me go back here. 
So again, here is the link to sign up. You put your email address, your password, your information. Company is Archer Travel, okay? Your address, because you want all your promotional stuff to come to you, okay? And then you just go down, you fill out, you know, you can just click IATA because that's, you know, I have both, okay? Um, so the IATA is the number that I put there, okay? And then Travel Leaders Network, that's it. Click, 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 submit, and then you go back to course catalog, click on Jordan, and then you'll be with us. All right. Perfect. Okay, so how about, oh, for more information, click here. Now, when we're doing these trainings, guys, when it says click here, that means it ends up taking you into another series and you can download this. A lot of people will do um, files on their computer or print out, um, you know, the flyers and stuff for a binder. Mm -hmm. So you have that information, okay? Mm -hmm. So again, as you see here, you can now save this for future information if you have a client that wants to go to Jordan, okay? All right, so, and then you end up getting locked down and you have to go back here and go back to it. <laughs> All right, how about biking? So biking trails, come on, come on, come on, open up, open up. Okay, that's the Red Sea, there. All right, see Jordan from a different perspective. Several tour operators offer specialty biking tours along numerous biking routes available throughout the country. Some key locations and routes include Wadi Rum, Shabak Castle to Petra, Dana to Fenon at the Lodge, Mount Nebo to um, Makarur, Madaba area, <laughs> Mayan to the Dead Sea, okay? And again, click here. It'll take you into more details for you, um, for your files or for your, um, you know, uh, binders, folders online, okay? All right. And then next, we're going to go scuba diving and snorkeling. So you have the Aquaba Red Sea. Temperature climate of the Red Sea and gentle water currents have created a perfect environment for the growth of corals and a teeming plethora of marine life. There are several dive centers in Aquaba. All offer well-maintained diving equipment, professional instructors, and transport by boat. All right. Are you guys doing good? Are you guys getting signed up? Again, we will wait for you for the test. And then here again, you can click here. It'll show you information. Right here, Aquaba, the Red Sea. So it has all the highlights and beyond, okay? So again, great information for you if you are booking an agent or a client to um, Jordan, okay? All right. Now we're going to go horseback riding and camel riding. Anybody ride a camel? They actually had camels yep. in Mexico that you could ride. Now, you know, Dubai, okay. <laughs> Mexico, I don't see many camels there. But um, so in Wadi Rum Desert, Petra, Amman, Northern Jordan, Dead Sea, and Aquaba, okay? And then Aerosports. Uh, take a bird's eye view of Jordan's beautiful landscapes via a plethora of aerosports, such as hot air balloon over, over Wadi Rum, microlight, skydiving, parachuting, and gliders. Again, click here. It'll give you more details. Uh, welcome to the aerosports. Again, skydiving, hot air balloons, gyrocoptics, ultralight, and microlight. All right. Ooh, then that looked fun. Who's a daredevil on here? I am, I am. All right, and then you have rock climbing and canyoneering. Rock climbing is a fast growing sport and community in Jordan, coupled with canyoneering. Some key locations is rock climbing is Wadi Rum, Ajlun, Wadi Musa, Petra, surrounding mountains. And then you have canyoneering. Wadi Mujab, Zarka Mayan, Wadi Hasa, Wadi Guar, <laughs> Karak. Again, I'm sorry, I apologize. All right. So if you like adventure, you'll love Wadi Rum. Here you can hire a camel, follow the footsteps of Lawrence of Arabia, climb the highest peaks, or take a safari trip across the rolling sand dunes in a four by four. Hello, good morning, Melissa. Um, thank you for hey, joining us. 
All right. So you can explore by foot the hidden canyons and discover the secret messages carved in the walls over 4,000 years ago. How about taking a oh, hot air balloon? Back. I messed up the... Oops. Hot air balloon trip and soar with eagles high above this amazing sight. Watch breathtaking sunsets and end the day in a um, Bedouin uh, camp under a starlit sky. All right. So that's adventure specialties. You must eat. I read each section. And I clicked here. Which one did I miss? Excuse me, Marnie. Um, what site is that? This is Travel Agent Academy. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. you're going to go in here. If you haven't signed up, just sign up. It's very easy to sign up. And then um, use your address, guys, because, again, you want it mailed to you. Um, and if so, then yeah, click Travel Leaders Network and you can just go right into your profile and update um, your address if you want to do that. Okay, very easy to sign up. Travel Leaders Network, you put our IATA number, um, 024840. Okay, I don't want to announce it because I'm recording and we don't want people to get into our accounts. All right, so once you get there and you sign up, then you go right here to all and you go to the second page and we're on Jordan, okay? And um, the first part we have already done, which is right here, which we did the first four, so you can catch up. And then um, now we're doing the last four. So again, welcome, welcome. And let's go ahead and get back. And we haven't done any tests yet. So don't worry, we will wait for you. All right, is this one I missed? I don't know. I must have missed one because it's telling me I can't move on. No, we checked this one. Okay, let me see. Do, 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 do. Pony Express. Pony Express? Yeah, down where it has a... Yeah. Right here. Thank okay. you. All right. So this is the horseback and camel riding. More daring riders may opt for a four-day trek through the eastern desert, stopping at several early Islamic desert castles and caravan stations. This trip reenacts the original Arabian Pony Express mail service that operated here in the 7th century. So cool. Okay, guys. So again, if you're just joining us, don't worry. We haven't done any tests. Just go to um, number five and then catch up to us. We'll be right here. Oh my God. People are driving me crazy. I've already been to these. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Then biking. We click there. The Jordan bike trails. All right, let me see if I hit them all now. Nope. Scuba diving, click there. Did you get the very first one, Marnie? Yeah, I was just right there, right here. The Jordan trails. No, yeah. uh, trekking. Hold there on, let me, let me clear out some of these. The side. All right, so trekking here is right here. Oh, trekking through history. Maybe that's it. Okay, thank you. So I click on that, but it's, it's a, okay. Action vacationers can follow the path of historical personalities. They can, for example, retrace the journey of the Emperor Hadrian from north to south Jordan, taking in the biblical cities and ancient fortresses in four-wheel drive vehicles, or a caravan of 25 people on camels or donkeys can retrace the footsteps of Lawrence of Arabia in the central highlands and eastern deserts um, of Arabia. In the central highlands and eastern deserts of Jordan, spending a week en route and camping in a different place every night. Parts of these itineraries, can somebody help Melissa? Um, itinerary, where am I? Spending a week en route and camping in different places every night. Parts of these itineraries can be done along the edge of the desert in vintage steam powered trains of World War I, the same as those that were attacked by the forces of the Arab uh, Revolt and Lawrence of Arabia nearly a century ago. All right, let's see if I can move on. Yay! All right, what? Melissa, it says school closed. What does it mean by, what do you mean by that? 
Well, I have my site. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have my site where I save all where I where I logged in before, like the Tribal Agent Academy. And it, when I enter my password, it's saying it's wrong, and then I push enter, and then it says it closes. the The school is closed. Okay, here. Try to click on on this link again and see. Try to click on that link. Okay. And see if you can go to your profile or forget password. Okay, thank you. And if not, just re-register again or something because it's it's very simple to get registered on it. Okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we're gonna do the test now. Again, don't worry if you're just getting signed on because we're going to make sure to give you the answers. All right, so click and drag each true statement into the correct box. Jordan boasts the natural advantages, sports activities, unique accommodations that adventure travelers crave. I'd say yes. True. Hundreds of established hiking trails, numerous biking routes through Jordan, along with specialized operators who assist visitors to navigate them. Is that true? Yeah. I think all of them, right? Horseback yeah. riding, aero sports. It looks like all of them. Okay, let's do all of them. Correct. Okay, so the first answer is all of them, guys. Move them all into the box and click correct. All right, so we completed chapter five. Again, the exam was all of them. Okay. Oh, nope, here's another one. All right, now we have the exam. Wow. All right, which of the following is R among the many attractions in Jordan for adventure travelers? So you have the Great Rift Valley, wealth of cultural historic explorations, all of the above. Yep, right? All of the above. Those clients interested in diving, snorkeling, and other water sports will want to head for this destination. Wasn't it Aquaba? Okay, come on, 14 people. Somebody's got to help answer. Yes. Okay, thank you. Aquaba. Hundreds of established hiking routes in Jordan, as well as operators who specialize in creating True. personalized tracks. True. True. Among the many adventure opportunities found in Wadi Rum is or are higher camel, climb highest peaks, all of the above, right? Yeah. Okay. One last question. Among the exceptional experiences which may be arranged in, jo arranged in Jordan is the vintage steam train from World War I. That is true. All right, so hopefully you guys all got these. Let me go ahead and 100%. Okay, anybody need help? Anybody need the answers? Perfect, thank you, Amber. So Amber put the quest answers for you guys there. So Melissa, if you're just signing up, she's got the answers right there for you. So again, congratulations. Okay, perfect. So again, you'll catch up. Don't worry, we will not leave without you. All right, let's go back. And now, oops, I guess I must have clicked out. Now we're going to go to chapter six. Da, 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 da. All right, almost done, guys. Hold on. <laughs> yes, I'm on training. What can I help you with? Sorry, what time do you want to go to lunch? What time is your training done? I should be done within an hour. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. All right, health and wellness, spa and luxury. Overview in an effort to provide the diversity of spa attractions that modern travelers demand, Jordan has embarked on various projects to promote its wealth of natural healing resources and therapeutic sites. Complemented with first-class resorts offering a diverse range of amenities, graced with the largest natural spa, thermal springs, moderate weather, and breathtaking natural scenery. Jordan is poised to deliver your clients' expectations of a unique spa and luxury destination. Jordan's most famous, okay, make sure I click them this time, <laughs> most famous wellness areas. Fantasies can come true as you float in the buoyant 
warm, super salty water of the Dead Sea. Enjoy a relaxing massage and an exquisite meal in exotic surroundings. Immerse yourself in the natural therapeutic waters of a thermal sleep, thermal spring, sleep under a million stars or swim with incredible marine life in a kaleidoscope underwater world. Jordan has been a spa retreat for kings and queens, queens since the time of Solomon and Cleopatra. Hey, I can't talk today. Today, some of these leisure and wellness areas include the Dead Sea. So known as the world's largest open air uh, spa, the Dead Sea located at the lowest point on earth, okay, that was one of the test questions, is flanked by mountains to the east and the rolling hills of Jerusalem to the west, giving it an almost otherworldly beauty. Although sparsely populated and serenely quiet now, the nearby area is believed to have been home to five biblical cities, Saddam, Gamora, Adman, Zabuin, and Zor. Uh, the leading attraction at the Dead Sea is the soothing, extremely salty therapeutic water itself. The salt content of the water is 31.5%, making the water so buoyant that it's impossible for the visitor to seek, even me. The sea contains 21 minerals, including high levels of magnesium, sodium, potassium, and bromine. bromine. 12 of these minerals are found in no other body of water in the world. That's good to know. All right, how about health benefits? Studies have shown the combination of the Dead Sea water and the rich black mud found along the shoreline to have significant health benefits, including increasing circulation, easing discomfort from arthritis, healing allergies, and revitalizing skin. Spa treatments featuring the unique blend of salts and minerals in these waters are a compelling resource for natural healing, luxurious accommodations, and fitness facilities with world-class spas in the surrounding four and five star resorts further enhance the destination's appeal. And then how about accommodations? Jordan's Dead Sea area is complemented with first class resorts offering a diverse range of amenities. The goal is to provide, provide its visitors with a unique relaxing experience catering to all their healing, fitness and beauty needs. All located within easy access to some of the country's most famous historic biblical and cultural attractions. And then you can click on here. Again, this will take you then into each of the different resorts that you can share with your client, okay? All right, so there, there, there. All right, so close, back. How about Hamamamat Mayan? I've been to the Dead Sea cover. Oh, cool, it was soft after washing, how neat. I'd love to do that. All right, this one is located 264 meters, 860 feet below sea level, um, sea le below sea level, below sea level, near the Dead Sea. Did they just repeat that twice, I guess? Um, these natural springs and thermal waterfalls are truly a natural wonder. The mineral rich waters draw thousands of visit visiting bathers every year. These falls are originate from winter rainfalls in the highland plains of Jordan and eventually feed the 109 hot and cold springs in the valley. This water is heated to temperatures up to 145 degrees by underground lava fissures as it makes its way through the valley before emptying into the Zarqa River. A spa hotel here offers a wide variety of services such as mud wrapping, jet showers, underwater massage, hydro jet bed, mud facial, electrotherapy, and comprehensive cosmetology treatments, as well as exquisite Jordanian cuisine. And then you have the spa wellness retreat set like an oasis in this dramatic um, terrain is the Mayan Hot Spring Resort and Spa. It is a destination of choice for those seeking the perfect retreat to relax and be pampered, offering a vast array of family-friendly services and facilities. Enjoy a full array of spa and therapeutic treatments offered at the classical design Six, six Senses Spa that it sits directly beneath one of the natural hot spring waterfalls that cascade into the spa pool and relaxation area. Oh my gosh, yes, definitely I want to go. 
Um, no, it's not Naples, it's Jordan. It's on the second page and it's Jordan. All right. And then Aquaba. All right, this is where they do a lot of water sports. In the South, the seaside resort of Aquaba provides a perfect location for rest and relaxation on the shores of the Red Sea. In addition, offers first-class scuba diving and snorkeling with some of the most beautiful and best preserved coral reefs in the world. Visitors can also participate in swimming, sailing, or enjoy views of the active marine life on a ride in a glass bottom boat. Aquaba is renowned for its warm water and sunny weather and is a delightful destination that can be enjoyed all year round. The hotels in Aquaba offer world-class spa facilities. So here's classic resorts, okay? Luxury resorts. Aquaba offers a wide range of accommodations and the top hotels are located alongside the beaches and offer full range of water sports, leisure activities, spa and fitness centers, boutiques and beauty shops. Aquaba has a wide range of international and traditional restaurants. Whether you are looking to stay in the, your luxurious um, hotel or wander around the streets of this vibrant town. Again, you can click on each of these to get more details on those hotels. All right, hopefully we hit all of them. Okay, Melissa, are you caught up? All right, now we're doing a pop quiz. Which of the following are among Jordan's most famous wellness centers? Check all that apply. Wasn't it this one and this one? And this one, right? That's correct. All of them except Mount Nebo, okay? So the pop quiz is all of them except Mount Nebo. All right, Jordan's health and wellness luxury activities. Jordan provides visitors with inspiration, motivation. Thank you, thank you, Amber. Um, rejuvenation and a guaranteed experience of a lifetime. Some of these activities include health experience. Jordan has become a hub for Middle East region and known internationally for its medical practices. North American travelers can enjoy a first-class vacation while getting world-class fertility treatments, dental treatments, cosmetic surgery, etc., for a fraction of the cost with exceptional follow-up care. Then you have wellness experience. Jordan offers a perfect location surrounding for any traveler seeking physical, psychological, and spiritual reju rejuvenation. They have yoga retreats, meditation retreats, maz ma maza, massage and spa treatments, bathe in natural thermal springs, soak up in the natural healing dead sea mud and minerals. Enjoy higher oxygen levels at the Dead Sea. Refresh at one of the traditional Turkish baths. Get in touch with nature on one of the many easy hiking trails and discover ancient Bedouin um, herbal remedies. All right. Um, Hammond Turkish bath. Turkish baths are a good way to discover more about the local culture. This is an Ottoman style communal bathhouse, highly popular throughout Jordan and the region since Roman times. The baths consist of three main rooms, a frigidarium, tepidarium, and calidarium, the cold, warm, and hot rooms, respectively. This is an invigorating experience for both mind and body. All right. And then luxury experience, in addition to the many... To the many high standard accommodations that offer great luxury amenities and spa experiences, Jordan offers many opportunities to add special touch that will enhance your client overall experience. So you have food and wine, fine dining at some of the country's leading restaurants, traditional fare and a beautifully restored old home in Amman with a local family. How about dinner and wine tasting at Zumat Winery and or Jordan River Winery? Travelers can tour one of the many vineyards. Traditional um, Bedouin uh, dinner, um, is it right? Under the stars in Wadi Rum or Petra with live entertainment by the locals. And the, isn't that beautiful, guys? How beautiful. Jordanian barbecue on the Red Sea while cruising at sunset. Okay, I'll go do that. And sunset dinner on top of the Amman, Amman um, Citadel overlooking the city. All right. 
How about desert excursions? Take off on a Wadi Rum desert safari in the comfort of luxury four by four vehicle complemented with amenities customized to your client's needs. How about flying high in a hot air balloon over the majestic desert landscape of Wadi Rum? What about experiencing glamping under the stars in one of the few luxury camps in Wadi Rum and Petra? For more information, click here. And then historical cultural pursuits. Opportunity to meet like-minded local professionals, visit historical sites like Petra on a private tour with an archaeologist, host a special evening in Little Petra or at one of the desert or crusader castles. How about soaking up the vibrant nightlife of Amun filled with cafes, lounges, and nightclubs? All right. Now we get to match each option with a selected related experience, which may be enjoyed. All right, so maybe that fertility would be medical, you think? Let's try it. Rejuvenation, Dead Sea. All right, perfect, thank you. All right, food and wine. Desert excursions would be that, right? Food and wine, traditional boondine. How about that? You guys think? Fertility, Dead Sea, traditional dinner, wadi rum, and like-minded professionals. Let's see. Correct. All right. You guys got that? Okay. Now we're done with... Six, let's take the test. I'm sorry, I missed that, Marty. My the, the prior one? All yeah. right. Um, it's the fertility. Um, does somebody have it have it on top on still? I don't know if I can go back to it. Rejuvenation. Um, uh, the, the bottom sea. one is the locals. Uh, fertility for medical. The desert is the four by four. I'm sorry. I... No worries. Fertility. Name the next one. And what was the food and wine? Food and wine is under the stars, I think. Okay. Tradition. Okay. Um, food and wine is tradition. Um, Bedouin dinner under the Yes, under the stars. Yes. Okay. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody else got it. Melissa, how you doing? I'm already stuck on um uh click and drag each correct statement on the right. Um Jordan boost boats boots and Mediterranean climate ideal. Okay, is this still on chapter five? Um I think chapter two. Oh, okay. We're we're jump over to chapter five. We're okay. chapter the one through four, you have to go and watch the prior one. Jump okay, over to Jump over to five and six. Okay. That's what we're on right now. We're actually doing six right now. Okay, I'll just catch up on the rest later. Yeah, yeah. The answers are on the um on my YouTube from one to four. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, so it's known as the world's largest. So again, if you want to jump to six now, that's where we're at right now. And then you can go back and we have the answers to five also. All right, it's known as the world's largest open air spa at the Dead Sea. Dead Sea. Okay, Dead Sea. The Dead Sea has how many number of minerals? Is it 12? I know it had 12 that no that are unknown elsewhere, but is it like maybe 21? 21, 21 and then 12 was known elsewhere, nowhere else. Oh. All right, located 264 below sea level of the Dead Sea, these waterfalls are a natural wonder. Oh, it doesn't let you jump to number six. It makes you re finish you that? Have to, you have to complete them all in order for you to go to six. I'll just follow and then I'll catch up on my, when you're- Okay, ready. yeah, go, go up here and take pictures of the test questions. Again, we have it recorded, but like right here is chapter five. Um, you know, all of the above, Aquaba, true. Here, let me show you right here. So go I was up guessing above. the other ones. Yeah, the other ones then are on chat on the YouTube channel. Okay, I'll just all follow right. along. 
Okay, thank you. thank you. These waterfalls are natural wonder. Okay. Um, so what was that one? Was it? Do you guys remember this one? Sorry. Was it Hama Mama Dana Biosphere? The last one, Hama Mama. -ma -ma. <laughs> All right, the Seaside Resort provides a perfect location, rest and relaxation on the shores of the Red Sea. Was that Wadi Rum? I'm gonna try Wadi Rum, okay. And then Jordan is becoming a popular for medical tourism. That's true yeah. because of all this stuff. All right, let's see. Oh, we missed one, we missed one, let's go back. All right, so it's the Dead Sea is number one. 21 is the minerals. Hamamamama is the natural wonder waterfall. And then this one's Aquabada, Aquaba, okay? So make sure you don't get that wrong. It's Aquaba, not Wadi Rum. All right, but we still passed, so yay, yay, yay. All right. Next, so now we're going to chapter seven. So we're almost done, guys. So congratulations, and you can get on with your day. All right, chapter six, now chapter seven. Yay, thank you, Amber. Again, Melissa and is it Thomas, please take a picture of those test questions so that way you have them for when you do it. All right, additional markets, food, wine, meetings, incentives, conference and events, cruising, family and multi-generation travel, meaningful travel. So an overview, Jordan is a country that appeals to a number of important niches. It's a natural for clients who insist on food and wine being an integral, integral, I'm sorry, gosh, integral, part of main or main purpose for their travel experience. It also appeals to your cruisers and for your corporate clients planning their next meeting or incentive trip. Jordan offers an ideal locale for an unforgettable experience. Okay, thank you, Melissa, appreciate that. All right, so click on each button. So go ahead, Melissa, you can start reading. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just follow off yours since I can't. Within okay, Jordan's- here and then I'll click over here. Okay. Uh, within Jordan's mealtime, the next Merle, or wait, sorry, Merle, right, Merle? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Merle, again, Merle- Don't worry about it, I have problems too. Uh, it's not a Merle, a biological function, but rather a time of celebration. The rich Jordan, Jordan, Food coupled with the famous Jordan hospitality creates an atmosphere of festivity um, each time a meal is served, rated among the finest in the world. Jordan cuisine, while unique, is part of the uh, Arabian, Arabian and Mediterranean culinary heritage. In fact, eating rituals are very important throughout the Middle East. And as a guest, you can be assured vast platters of succulent and nutritious food that will be produced to honor your visit. All right. And then here's traditional menus. So if you want to read that. Traditional menus. Traditional menus consist of four courses served family style in which the courses are served in the center of the table for all to share salad, meat, main dish, and the desert. I mean, dessert, <laughs> the most popular <laughs> course is the Mies, served family style, which includes authentic, authentic Ar Ariba, favorite uh, such as humid, humus. Oh my God, that's a lot of words. I don't, I don't know that one. Balfil, <laughs> Bagahanush, and Tabuli, I don't know. Many times a mess is so impressive and rich that it could be considered a meal in itself. Oh yeah, that, that sure looks like a meal in itself. Isn't, oh, isn't this fun? That's what I'm saying. It, it does get, I know uh, Christine Whitaker, she had a, a couple when I was gone and it's like, that's why I gave her easy ones next week. Uh, right. you, Mans Are you okay with this? Ed? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Mansaf okay, is the most distinctive Jordan dish. It's a 
Beruin, Beruin, Beruin dish and often symbolizes an occasion mansaf. Mansaf consists of Arabic rice and rich broth made from dry sour milk, harmin, and either lamb or chicken while their Jordanes are celebrating a graduation and engagement or a wedding. Mans mansaf is commonly served in addition. It's also served during condolences and as, as a means to patch up differences with others. Mansaf on the menu is the greatest symbol in Jordan culture for generosity. The level of generosity is determined by the amount of lamb presented. Utensils, utensils are not commonly used when eating a guest feast from the con communal dish using their hands due to the fact that it symbolizes a social and community gathering. Uh, grand presentation is placed in the middle of the dining sitting setting. <laughs> I Dang, caught my breath there. I need some water. Yeah, I bet uh, COVID is rampant there. No. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's, I was like, let me help her. Ooh, here, let me get in and eat. <laughs> All right. And then here, Matt, so here's the, the communal Ooh. dish. All right. So reach oh, in, wow. grab your food, and let's eat. Oh. So here's a, a menu that you guys can make this if you'd like. So pretty cool, huh? That looks good, but the meat looks dry. Yeah. It it looks good. Oh, fish sauce pickled radish. Ah, no, thank you. I, I may like this, the uh, tamarind rice. That looks good. That's yeah. spicy too. <laughs> That's peanuts in it. Let's eat. Okay, send me my recipes. There we go. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to the next page. Jordan style of cooking. There's a wide variety in the Jordan style of cooking. The authentic Jordan cuisine can range from grilling, so I don't know all those words, to stuff, stuffing a veggie, vegetables, grape, leaves, eggplant, etc. Meat and poultry, also common in roasting and or preparing foods with special sauces. Food is a very important aspect within the Jordan culture. Religious <laughs> meals are a community event with the immediate and extended family. Present in addition, food is commonly used by Jordans to express their hospitality and generosity. They are by nature very hos hospital, hos oh God, hospital, hos I don't know. People and often <laughs> food is presented with the enemy. What was that? Hospitable. Hospital, hospit, I can't say it. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong, but I can't say That's it. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Food is presented within minutes of a person's invitation to a local house. It's with pride that Jordanes serve family, friends, and guests in their homes, no matter how modest their means. A Jordan invitation means that you are accepted to bring nothing and eat everything. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, I appreciate you doing this, Melissa. And as you guys can see, it, it isn't that easy to, to you know, pronounce some of these and to, to be able to read it. So um, if you yeah, want, I, I can read. You want to read too? Okay. Well, I've, I've, I've been overseas in the military. So, I mean, I've, yeah, I can read this. Perfect. You want to take over this one? Is Melissa, you okay? Let Tom do read some? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Tom. No problem. All right. Do you want me to read from left, like where it says Jordan style of cooking or? That's, the, she's but, read that part already. So read right here, the, the tan part. All right. Buhudini hospitality. Buhudini hospitality is world's renowned. They have been welcoming strangers into their homes for thousands of years with courtesy and respect. Tea and coffee is an important symbol of Bahudini hospitality, culture, and custom. Coffee known as gahawa and blend of roasted beans and cardamom is served to bring together tribes, communities, and visitors to create harmony. These coffee gatherings are often used in reinforcing communication and peace and continue to be a significant part of a Houdini life. Tea can be served with or without sugar, as well as with or without fresh mint leaves to add some extra flavor. Very good. All right, now resources. So resources here. Okay, so this is just um, links, so we don't need to do that. So we'll go to the next one. So again, thank you. Let's go to the next one. All right, now you get to talk about wine. 
wine in Jordan. Enjoy enjoy Jordan's fine wines, certified organic by IMO Switzerland and awarded 12 international medals. The wine tasting experience is located in the winemaking uh, hold on, winemaker in the heart of Amman. You are your wine tasting experience includes a history of Jordan and the making of J Jordanian wishes are Jordanian wines held by winemaker himself or as Somalia. Your young group of take your group on a tour of the vineyards and just spend an evening with the winemaker tasting these fine wines and learning about how wine is made from biblical times until now while savoring the home-cooked Jordanian cuisine. Very good. All right. So now we're going to learn about the wine. So again, here, this is just clicking on here. You can get the information. Are you legal age to drink? Yes, I am. So it's again, these are ones that, you know, you can pull up, put it in your binders. Okay. So we don't have to go read through those. So let's go to the next one, Jordan River. Does this come up? Okay, so this one also just another flyer brochure that you can go ahead and post into your flyers or your, your um, folders, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. Where am I? Here we go. All right, next. All Pop right, quiz. Pop quiz. Not only is Jordanian cuisine rated among the finest in the world, it provides your clients with the opportunity to engage with the people of Jordan and their traditions. Which of the following are among the expressions that a meal or even serving of coffee could represent? I'd say generosity, communication, and peace, hospitality, and harmony. <laughs> oh, actually, all of them. them. Yeah, it's oh. all of them. Okay. Correct. All of them, guys, okay? They are very um, friendly over there, all right? All right, here you go. You want to keep going, Tom, Thomas? Yeah, no problem, okay. no problem. Uh, meeting, incentives, conference, and events. Jordan has host many international meetings, incentives, conferences, and events. Uh, MICE includes the World Economics Forum and recent are in recent years. This unique year-round destination boasts states of the art, both state of the art convention centers, conference and meetings facilities throughout the country. Hold on, I'm making it a little bit bigger. All this is backed by Jordan's commitment to provide the very best in conference and meetings, uh, meeting venues and facilities. The new stream of luxury hotels and, res and resorts emerging in Amman Petra. Abaca and the Dead Sea is just adding quality and life already. Refined products that is distinct, accessible, and friendly. All of Jordan top hotels have fully equipped conference and banquet rooms with dedicated staff, both in Zara Conference Center in Amman and the King Hussein bin Talal Convention Center at the Dead Sea provide world-class facilities for a very large events. These are backed by the full range of support facilities and ensure that every event, large or small, is res resounding and re memorable success. Perfect. All right, now here's the convention center now. Okay, there's information, so. Again, when you're ready to stop, so we see if anyone else wants to take over. So just, uh, again. <laughs> Cooperation. King Hassan bin Talal Convention Center had been at the Dead Sea. King Hassan bin Talal Convention Center managed by Hilton. This stunning conference center is uniquely located at the lowest point of the earth on the shores of the Dead Sea in Jordan. The convention center is situated among famous attractions such as Mount Nebo, Madaba, and the Mujib Native the Mujib Nature, Nature <laughs> Reserve. The convention center is only a 65 kilometer drive from Queens Ali International Airport. The KHBTCC state is the art spec spectacular design and matched by, the, by its modern technology, making it the perfect choice for meeting events. 
weddings and gathering of any size and occasion. The three-story center boasts 27 conference halls, lounges, foyers, and several outdoor terraces. Whether the event or whether your event involves hundreds of guests or thousands of attendees, this convention center provides luxury, comfort, and space for all meeting, for all meetings. This versatile center accommodates conference ranging from 500 to 3,000 people with expedition uh, space of 1,310 square meters and smaller workshops, meeting, and training sessions. Yay. All right. And then lifetime experience. Whether it's a conference for 5,000 people or a lavish dinner in the peerless desert of Wadi Rum, a barbecue or the short a barbecue at the shores of the Dead Sea or the reception atop of the medieval, medieval castle overlooking the Jordan Valley, the embacool and competent hospitality industry in Jordan will ensure a once in a lifetime experience. Perfect. All right. Click a topic to learn more. Okay. The facility is geared towards the meeting and conferences conference marketing include state-of-the-art convention centers and banquet halls, multi-purpose rooms arranged for various meeting form formats, audio-visual aids, printing, copying, and internet services, food and beverage arrangements, uh, was it simultaneous interruption, interpretation, various means of transport, multilingual guides, planning, of custom, customized tours and excursions, assist, assistance in it by a specialized staff in airports and throughout visits. All right. And then conference. Hold on, make this Thomas, bigger. Thomas, you want me to read? <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm using my cell phone, so I have to make things bigger. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna continue? If you want me to, I mean, if you want to read, you can. I don't care. Yeah, I, I could jump in, give you a break. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank a you. Pre, um, a pre or post tour of Jordan can reward employees and conference attendees like few other destinations can, offering trips full of attractions and motivating elements that may include special theme events, gala dinners competitive activities specifically designed for business groups and team building exercise, exercises. First rate hotels and restaurants, Arabic and international cuisine to satisfy diverse tastes. Touring vehicles with private drivers and guides, music and the crafts and traditions of Jordan. Okay, wonderful. And then here's conferences. Is this what we already went over? We did that, right? No. World so, Economic Forum, um, UNWTO and <laughs> WTTC. I don't, yeah, I don't think we need to probably <laughs> read these. So these are just different um, conferences <laughs> that they have. So we'll skip over that. At least we clicked on it. Okay. Uh, thank you. Oh, All right. pop quiz. <laughs> Which of the following are among the reasons fueling the dramatic increase in meetings, incentives, conferences, and events in Jordan? All of it? I'll say all of it. Correct. It's all of it, guys. All right. Go ahead and continue. You want to while, <laughs> while Jordan is not a typical destination for first time cruisers, many cruisers who disembark in Aquaba <laughs> are visiting Jordan for the first time. A stroll around Aquaba or a shore excursion to Petra or Wadi Rum is usually all it takes to whet the cruiser's appetite for more. Many people who visit Jordan by cruise ship go home with plans to return. And this is an ideal opportunity for you to follow up with cruisers, such as that they visit the parts of the country they missed the first time or have them disembark in Jordan for an unforgettable experience. 
most international cruise lines embark and disembark in Aquaba at the new passenger terminal. Trips to see Petra, approximately two hour drive north. Lardy Rum, approximately one hour drive. And exploring the city of Aquaba are easily arranged by your cruise director or upon disembark, disembark Asian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you might be with me. I've been on how many cruises I can still can't pronounce that. <laughs> All right, multi generational. Jordan is an ideal destination for family travel as there are plenty of activities that all family members of all ages can enjoy while traveling throughout the kingdom. There are some activities to consider. You want me to read that part? Visit the museum? Yeah. Okay, visiting museum and art galleries, including the National Museum, Children's Museum, the Royal Automobile Museum, visiting the Ahaz. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Railway and taking a trip on the old locomotive steam engine. Touring the royal stables and learning about Arabian horses. Camping in Dana and Wadi Rum. Swimming and floating in the Dead Sea. I came through Wadi and Wadi Mujib waterfalls. Snorkeling in Aquaba. Dessert safaris to the sea. To see the ibex in oryx camel oh oryx okay camel safaris ride reliving history and visiting historical and ancient wonders petra jiraj Bethany, beyond the jordan karak castle etc follow <laughs> the adventures from the movies of indiana jones lawrence of arabia transformers etc live like a Bedouin and experience Fainan ecology and interact with local communities. Very good. Thank you so much. Did you know that the movie Aladdin is based off of Jordan? Oh, it is? And, and then they cross over and you see the Sphinx and whatnot in Egypt. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're tricking us, right? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know that. That's pretty good information. Okay, meaningful travel. A fast growing niche is sustainable tourism, whereby visitors make a positive impact on a destination's economy and society while respecting its environment. Visitors can achieve these goals by opting for locally run accommodations, eateries, entertainment, recreation, and in destination transportation. Sustainable tourism is a win-win for everyone. The money spent goes directly to support local communities and provide work for their people, while visitors enjoy direct and meaningful contact with their hosts. Perfect. All right. Okay, Tourism Cares with Jordan. Working with Tourism Cares, Jordan's meaningful travel program brings together social enterprises that offers visitors opportunities to meet local people and support their businesses and or traditional ways of life. There are currently 12 social enterprises. For more information on Tourism Cares with Jordan, visit the website. Okay. Read these things? <laughs> no, that's okay. So you can just see all the different sites that they have and all, all the activities and stuff. So lots of uh, variety for um, tourism. All right, and then the travel map. Okay, meaningful travel map. To help travel advisors weave them into a F oh, fit itinerary, the program offers an interactive meaningful travel map which shows where to find top cultural and natural attractions, as well as the local businesses and initiatives featured on the program website. The Meaningful Travel website also contains links to week-long tours that blend sightseeing and authentic experiences. These itineraries focus on such themes as outdoor adventure, Asian culture, and women's life and feature numerous local enterprises. All right, sorry, my daughter just walked in. Okay, 
Yay, we made it through chapter seven. Thank you guys. Wonderful. I love the cooperation, guys. All right, meal times in Jordan are a time of celebration. I would say yes, that's true. How about a Jordanian invitation means? The doing cooking, bring nothing, bring, eat everything, buffet yes. style, all of them. Bring nothing but eat everything. Okay, bring nothing and eat everything. How about the fine wines have received 12 international medals and may be sampled on a tour of the vineyards? True. All right. Travelers who have visited Jordan for the first time via cruise ship are prime candidates for a return land trip. Say true, very good. And meetings and incentive activities in Jordan can include, I would say yes, all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and last but not least, meaningful travel map, where to find cultural attractions, true. All right, 100%, yes. All right, and Melissa put the answers in there for us. Thank you so much, Thomas, and again, um, great working together. Can you hit the review? Can you hit the? Oh gosh. What? Okay. No, right it's here. fine. Right here's the answers. Okay. First one um, or second one, it was uh, eat everything. True, true, all of the above and true. <laughs> Sorry. I know I, I click fast. I'm like, let's okay. go. Let's get that. Okay. Did you pass? Yeah. Did you get it? Yes. Okay. So I don't, no, Nyla, sorry. what do you need? Which question? Yeah, because my first question is mealtime and joins Jordan are at at a time of celebration. That was true. True, correct. Yeah, because mine are in different orders. Okay, what's the um, next one? Uh, a Jordan invitation means oh bring everything. I remember that one. That one, yeah. Bring, bring nothing, eat everything. Yep. Okay, and then you said everything else was true, so we had all the true. And then the one that has the question, it's all the above. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think I All should. right, so it looks like we're on the master course. It looks like we've completed all of them. Now we're going to the master course. So let's go ahead and start. Woohoo, guys. Oh, my son's here. He just got... Um, promoted to detective so we're gonna go celebrate at lunch all right who wants to read biblical jordan i'll go ahead and to journey through jordan is to trace the history of the three abraham abrahamic faiths judaism christian christian out christian christian i'm sorry christianity 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 Dang it, see? Christianity and Islam, the Hebrew scriptures, the Christian Bible, and the Holy Quran all tell tales that took place here. Reminders of these stories are everywhere in Jordan. This is where Jacob wrestled with the angel of God, and his name was changed to Israel, where Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt, where Elijah ascended to heaven in a chariot of fire, where Moses led the Israelites um, on their flight from Egypt, where John baptized Jesus, where the Holy Trinity was first revealed to mankind, and where Jesus traveled, taught, and healed the sick through the region of Decapolis, League of Cities, chiefly located east of the Jordan River, and Perea, the country beyond in Greek. Pilgrims all, from all around the world come here to follow in the footsteps of the prophets and the pilgrims before them and experience for themselves the healing hospitality in this special place. Reminder, most pilgrims from North America who visit Jordan are Christian simply because they are a majority of the population. It is easy to adapt most religious itineraries for members of any faith given the common history or culture significance. And then the destination, Jordan has been a destination of pilgrims as far back as the 5th century. Your clients can visit the Decapolis towns of G, um, as Jesus did, look from the Mount Nebo to the Holy Land as Moses did, share the vision of John and the hope of Elijah, and continue the centuries of prayer that have been offered by countless Christian souls in this holy biblical land. 
In particular, the land east of the Jordan River is home to hundreds of biblical locations and many sites of key importance to the three um, Abrahamic, Abrahamic um, face. Here, the Bible tells us that Abraham arrived in the Holy Land. Moses saw the land he would never enter and was buried by God himself. John the Baptist preached, baptized Jesus, and was beheaded. The Holy Spirit descended like a dove upon Jesus and much more. All right. And re re revered by Muslims, Christians, and Jews. The land around Jordan River Valley and the Dead Sea is revered by Muslims, Christians, and Jews as blessed. The Bible calls it the Garden of the Lord. And the Holy Quran says that God blessed the land for all beings. Indeed, half of humanity views the land and the River of Jordan as part of the geographic and spiritual heartland of their faith. This master's course will add more detail and depth to your knowledge of Jordan's religious tourism offerings, allowing you to further develop your expertise on this niche and better serve the religious travel market. Leading advocate. Also, guys, I don't know. You may be able to. Okay, thank you, Christine. You may be able to um, get the first. I don't know if this is two separate trainings, but we may have two separate certificates like we did for... Um, for uh, Jamaica. So just wanted to check on that. We'll look in a minute. A leading advocate for regional peace, Jordan's moderate political climate and role as a leading advocate for regional peace makes it a natural locale for the Jordanian Interfaith Coexistence Research Center, which has the potential to play an important role in promoting Muslim Christian mutual respect and peaceful coexistence. The center promotes such shared religious values as harmony, tolerance, coexistence, peace, and respect for human dignity. Following the respectful, wise leadership of the Hajmite family, this is what Jordanians believe in and practice in their daily lives. Coexistence in Jordan is a success story, providing an example for other countries worldwide. All right. And then click below to learn more about Christian travel. So Christian travelers, to better serve these clients, it helps to understand their reasons for religious travel. Christian travelers are typically motivated by the opportunity to deepen or enrich their faith, visit spiritual or biblical destinations, explore the roots of the region, have fun, build community and forge deeper fellowships, feel a stronger connection with the world at large, give back and fulfill a commitment to the church. All right. The second one is Christian travel segment. This look at the types of Christian travel choices may help you determine what clients are really seeking. Pilgrimage for Catholics, Bible study tours, typically Protestant, leisure vacations, self adventure and active travel, family vacations, intergenerational travel, student, youth and school universities performance and music group tours, conventions, meeting and conferences, retreats or getaways, major events such as festivals or multi lineup concerts and volunteerism, mission or people to people engagements. How about the biblical Jordan theme or ties? These religious themes can help you create packages and form groups. Biblical land of refuge, spa, wellness, Christian retreats, sanctuary, etc. Land of the prophets, Moses, Elijah, and John the Baptist. Heaven opened twice here, once for Elijah and once for the Holy Spirit to descend as a dove to proclaim Jesus as the beloved son. The Dead Sea, the natural Christian meeting place, and get back to the roots of your, roots of your faith in Jordan. Follow in the footsteps of the prophets, Jesus, and early Christians. And then perspectives from the religious press. For those wishing to visit places such as biblical significance, Jordan offers pristine view. Few signs of commercialism, commer commercialization by its holy sites, and it's open its arms with assurance that theirs is one of the safest, most peaceful places to visit on any continent. That's from Jack Haberer, the Pres um, Presbyterian Outlook. This is the place Christian uh, sojourners um, have come for centuries ever since they began visiting prophet called John. And I like them 
and I, like them, have come back to meet with the Lord here. This is where Jesus was baptized in sacred waters. It's in, in the lot indelible marked by his presence. Tanya Stoneman in Touch Magazine. And you must view all sections. Okay, perspectives um, for those wishing. Okay, I thought I did that. Okay, what did else did I miss? I don't see anything else there. I don't see anything there. Okay, I don't see that I missed anything. Yeah. Use these selling points. Maybe that was it. Uh, use these selling points from the religious. Okay, so retrace the roots, natural wonders. All right. There we go. All right, here's a closer look at these five biblical sites, okay? So in 2000, the Catholic Church designated five biblical locations in Jordan as a Jubilee pilgrimage site. So this is kind of cool for the itineraries for your client, Bethany Beyond, where John Ma ba the Baptist preached and baptized Jesus. You have Mount Nebo, where Moses saw the land he would never enter and is buried nearby. Mukarur, the hilltop fortress where John the Baptist was imprisoned and beheaded. And Jara, a place of, re of recent miracle where Jesus, his disciples, and the Virgin Mary passed through, rested in a cave during one of their journeys, and then hometown to Elijah is Telmar Elias. So click on here, Bethany Beyond the Jordan. All right. Of the five Jubilee pilgrimages, uh, Bethany Beyond the Jordan holds a profound significance for Christians. This is where John the Baptist cried out in the wilderness, preached his message of repentance, and where Jesus humbled himself to the baptized to be baptized by his cousin in the waters of the Jordan. After his baptism, the Bible says that the heavens opened and the Spirit of God descended like a dove upon Jesus. And a voice uh, from heaven said, this is my son whom I love, with him I am well pleased, Matthew 3, 17. This profound event is the first recorded manifestation of the Holy Trinity, a central belief of the Christian faith. After this revelation and his anointing, the Bible says that Jesus began calling his disciples. From here, Jesus began his earthly ministry and the Christian faith was born. In this wilderness, the heavens opened twice, first for Elijah to ascend in a whirlwind of, on a chariot of fire, and centuries later for the Spirit of God to descend upon his beloved son. Today, thousands of Christians from, beyond, from around the world gather each January at Bethany Beyond the Jordan to remember the baptism of Jesus, with, which some traditions recognize as the Feast of the Ep, um, Epiphany. Feast of Theophany in other traditions. Bethany Beyond the Jordan was named the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015. Again, these are things you can click on to get more information. All right, I'm not going to go ahead and click on them. Um, okay, I guess I have to click on them. <laughs> oh, here, excavations, location of the John the Baptist settlement at Bethany Beyond the Jordan, opposite Jer Jer Jericho has long been from the Bible and from um, Byzantine and medieval text. But as late as 1994, the banks of both sides of the river were heavily mined. A fruit of the Jordan-Israel peace treaty was the demining of the area and the systematic excavation of the settlement on the eastern side. These excavations led to the 1996 redis rediscovery of the location where John had been living and carrying out his baptisms. Even though early Christians had followed the traditional route from Jerusalem to Jericho and across a ford to the baptismal site, the end of the Byzantine area era and the shifting of the trade routes had brought about a decline east of the river that led to a change in the traditional pilgrimage journey, a convenient stop on the western bank to commemorate the baptism of Jesus. But now that excavation has revealed the authentic place of baptism, today's pilgrims, unlike visitors of old, have easy access to the sacred place. From the time of Jesus until the 6th century AD, the area and its settlements were known by several names, including Bethabara, Bethania, Anan, Sasasas. It is depicted and named 
on the 6th century Madaba mosaic map of the Holy Land as Aonan Spring, mm -hmm. where now is Sasfasvas. Today, the area's um, Arabic name is Al Magatas, the place of baptism. Thank you. The actual site has now been identified as the area that extends between Tel Al Kara, Elijah's Hill, and the Church of John. Um, oops, and the Church of Saint John the Baptist that was mentioned by the early pilgrims. Um, to, what does that say? Tell to um, tell Al Karara is believed to be the very spot where Elijah ascended to heaven in a whirlwind on the chariot fire. fire. Wadi Al Karar is believed to be Karith Ravine, the natural stream east of Jordan, where God commanded Elijah to seek refuge from King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. Centuries later, Jesus found um, Jesus himself would seek refuge here after being threatened with stoning in Jerusalem. John 10 40 through 42 provides this account. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. Here he stayed and many people came to him. They said, though uh, John never performed a mir miraculous sign, all that John said about this man was true. And in that place, many believed in Jesus. All right, how about new churches? The largest area known as Bethany beyond the Jordan is a national park of the kingdom of Jordan. The park was established to preserve the place as it was in the time of Jesus and also to accommodate pilgrims from all over the world. Church leaders, um, park trustees, tourism officials are working to facilitate and continue the tradition of pilgrimage here while protecting the World Heritage Site from over commercialization. About 10 years ago, our authorities decided to offer plots of land in the park outside of the protected wilderness area, free of charge to various Christian de denominations, so that they could build a new religious building, sanctuaries, monasteries, and guest house for pilgrimage. Pilgrims to continue the pilgrimage tradition started by the early Christians. Varied denominations um, are building facilities at their own expense in the area set aside for pilgrims and visitors. When the projects are completed, about a dozen new places of worship should stand in the park outside the protected wilderness. So kind of cool, huh? According to Franciscan Custody of the Holy Land, once completed, the Church of the Baptism of Jesus could become one of the most visited places in the Holy Land, at least um, for Catholic pilgrims and the local faithful. The Holy Building will be able to hold about a thousand worshipers and large square cloisters opposite it, at least 2,000 worshipers. On both sides of the transept, two monasteries have been built for two monastic communities, one male and one female. Each of the monasteries can accommodate 30 pilgrims on retreats. The apse of the church is no more than 90 feet from Jordan River. Near the church, a large welcome center for pilgrims have been planned with a restaurant, theater, museum, and souvenir shop. Click here for animated video. Okay, we're not going to watch the whole thing. You guys can watch it because it's seven minutes long, but um, ooh, pretty cool there. All right, next and close. Pilgrim experience. Today's uh, pilgrims can retrace the footsteps of early Christians by visiting the cave where John the Baptist lived and carried out his works. Early pilgrims noted that the water flowed from the cave, which John drank and used for baptisms. The cave was, tra cave. The cave was transformed into a church during the Byzantine period, the water channel and the church, which is built around the cave, have been excavated and are open to viewing. Closer to the Jordan River are the remains of five memorial, memorial churches built by early believers. They were carefully described by pilgrims and travelers throughout the history, linking them with Jesus' baptism. Some of these churches existed and were described well into the Islamic periods, a sign of Christian Muslim coexistence in Jordan that continues to this day. Elijah and John the Baptist. The Marty, lies you want this, me to read? Huh? You want me to read? Sure, go ahead. Okay, Elijah and John the Baptist. The lives and ministry of these two prophets are intertwined 
and closely connected with this land. John the Baptist began his ministry in the same wilderness where centuries earlier, the heavens had opened and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind on a chariot of fire. Earlier, Elijah had sought refuge here from King Hahab and Queen Jezebel and was fed by ravens at Keret Ravine, the natural stream east of Jordan. Both prophets confronted the religious laxity, laxity of their times and challenged the political authority, announced the imminent arrival of the Messiah, and urged the people to repent and lead religious life, righteous lives. All right. Perfect. Thank you. And nearby attractions. Oops, okay, so here, we're not gonna read this, we'll just see. So you have the Dead Sea, the Tourist, Aero Sports Club, yeah. Dead Sea. So again, this is something that you wanna hold out um, or put in your binders, all right? And then back, all right, how about Mount Nebo? Okay, Mount Nebo rises from the southern end of the Jordan River Valley the Asian plains of Moab opposite Jericho and overlooks the valley, the Dead Sea and the distant hills of Jerusalem. At the end of his long Exodus journey, Moses climbed to the top of this wind swept promont promontory and looked westward to see the land of Canaan that he was forbidden to enter. The Bible says that God himself buried Moses in a place near Rai that nobody knows to this day. Another name for Mount Nebo is Pisgah Siyah mm, in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> Jabal, is that a dog? That's tough, I know. Siyah, where the Christian community for the fourth century built a sanctuary in the honor of Moses has been under excavation since 1933. Stones from the original church have been found along with remains of subsequent fifth and sixth century churches. Today, the Memorial Church of Moses welcomes pilgrims of all faiths. The Franciscan custody of the Holy Land, whose mission is to conserve and direct the Terra Sancta our holy places maintain a sanctuary here. Visitors to Mount Nebo may occasionally glimpse a Franciscan friar tending to the garden in the monastery adjacent to the church and public areas, or catch them walking along this holy mountain or greeting visitors. Very good. All right. Now the serpentine cross. The serpentine cross atop Mount Nebo is a symbolic of the brazen serpent taken by Moses into the desert and the cross upon which Jesus was crucified. During the Exodus, God instructed Moses to erect a bronze serpent on a pole to stop a plague that he had sent to kill the rebellious Israelites. All who looked up at the serpent were spared death. The race serpent was recalled in the New Testament as a per precursor to the lifting of Jesus on the cross, giving life to all who looked up to raise the figure. In the year 2000, Saint Pope John Paul II commemorated the beginning of the millennium with a spiritual pilgrimage to the Holy Land, starting his visit with prayers in the Basilica at Mount Nebo. He then stood on the promontory and viewed the same scene that Moses saw thousands of years ago. The viewing platform erected for, vi for his visit remains and is used by pilgrims to enjoy the same panoramic views of the Holy Land. Very good. Nearby attractions, again, something you can click on, put in your binder right there, everything that they have to offer. All right, and then back. 
Good luck on this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, I don't know what to call M- M- Mocha Wear Mattress. <laughs> Within an hour's drive from Magaba along the Pictures King's Highway in uh, Mocha, where, <laughs> the hilltop fortress of Erod the Great. Upon his death, his son Erod Antipas inherited the stronghold, and it was here that he was imprisoned. John the Baptist and Arda is beheaded after Salome's faithful dance. Pilgrims may walk the winding path up to the barren hilltop to see the remains of the fortified palace and reflect upon the dramatic events that took place here. Those who make the climb are also rewarded with a sweeping view of the Dead Sea and surrounding area. John the Baptist, who started and ended his mission in Jordan, is the patron saint of Jordan for Roman Catholics. Very good. On his birthday, Eric gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and leading the men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Eric and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, ask me for anything you want and I'll give it to you. Very good. All right. And two more. Anjara, the the town of Anjara is nestled among the ancient hills of Gilead, east of Jordan Valley. Church tradition teaches that Jesus is Mother Mary and his disciples spent the night in a cave near the town during one of their journeys through the region. The cave, which had long been a place of pilgrims, has now been commemorated with a Roman Catholic shrine to the Virgin Mary, known as the Sanctuary of Our Lady of the Mountain. Pilgrims can visit the church where a statue of the Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus has been placed within a new, newly built grotto. All right, volunteer opportunity. Visitors to the to this biblical site may want to incorporate the opportunity to volunteer to assist the Anjara orphanage of the Catholic Church and the School of Catholic Monastery, attended by 250 Christian and Muslim students from kindergarten to eighth grade. All right. And last. So, Salome. Who's that? Hello. <laughs> It's like it's okay. coming right here. <laughs> okay. All right. This says Talmar Elias. Talmar Elias is very close to the ruins of a village known as Listim. It is believed that this place was formerly called Tishbe, the place of place for oh the birthplace of Elijah, a native of Gilead in Transjordan. The two churches that were built upon the Tel Il top at the end of the Byzantine period substantiate this belief. The site of Tel Mar Elias includes extensive architecture remains of the churches and visitors can tour the remains scattered across the summit of the hill and take in the view of rustic countryside near the village of Listib. According to the Old Testament, Elijah was born in this area and ascended to heaven near near Bethany beyond the Jordan. Centuries later, the Synoptic Gospels tell the story of how Elijah and Moses appeared during the transfigurations of Jesus when his face shone like the sun before Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, After this event, the Gospels explain that Jesus spoke to the disciples about prophecies of Elijah and that they came to understand that Jesus was in fact referring to John the Baptist. Thus, Jesus himself so closely identified the two men and their ministry. All right. Pilgrims making a journey to Telmar Elias will travel through lush forests that make up the ill country of the famed ancient forest of Gilead or Hills of Gilead. The name of Gilead first appears in the Bible, account of the last meeting of Jacob and Laban, 
Genesis 31, 21 to 22. The balm of Gilead first reference in the Old Testament appears in literature and symbols throughout Western culture. The African-American spiritual entitled, There is a Bomb in Gilead, is one of the most beloved tradition, traditional spirituals and is sung to this day in very Christian tradition. Very good. We should have done this one tomorrow, huh? <laughs> our, our church service. <laughs> oh, hey, kitty, doggy. All right. And was this this one? Okay. Yeah, we, we did that. this one, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. So here. And yeah, that's... this one. Uh huh. All right. Let me try to see if it'll take us. There we go. Pop oh, quiz. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. Click and drag each okay. tracement to which is true half of humanity views jordan as part of the geographic and spiritual heartland of their faith i'd say at least half true land the land east of jordan is home to hundreds of biblical locations many of key importance i'd say yeah true. True. okay jordan's religious sites are authentic serene and less commercial correct true. True. Bethany Beyond is known as the birthplace of Christianity. True. Is the site where Moses viewed the Holy Land before he died? That's no. True. Is yeah. it true? True. Yep. Yeah. True. Okay. Yeah. Makara is the top hilltop where John Baptist, um, Baptist was imprisoned and beheaded. True. Jordan is leading advocate for regional peace. True. <laughs> Visitors may combine pilgrimages to Jordan's many important religious and natural truth. Okay. True. Submit. Correct. It's all of them. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, biblical celebrations. So you have all these for more information. You want to go ahead and read, Thomas? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I just got to chapter six, by the way. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. Wonderful. Uh, Feast of Epiphany, second or third Friday of the new year. Thousands of Jordanian and regional Christians and pilgrims celebrate their Feast of Epiphany at the baptism site of Jordan every year. Usually the Western Church celebrates the second Friday and the Eastern Church on the third Friday. Many people choose these days to be baptized days to baptize their children. Virgin Mary Feast Celebration, second Friday of June second friday of june of each year thousands of locals and pilgrims celebrate the day of the virgin mary on the second friday of june in anjara the memorial of john the baptist august 29th of each year jordan celebrates the day of august that this day on august 29th perfect thank you and then again sample itineraries for your um clients so this is a great thing to have go ahead and you know click on there and then it'll open up and give you guys great itineraries so i know we have a lot of people that ask about um you know um uh, religious tours and and holy land tours and stuff so now we know where to find it so again congratulations everybody for attending with us let's see what's next okay so other biblical interests okay so here's all kinds of resources for us to use Again, takes you back into here. Um, this was one that we looked at before, so I know it's it's available for us. All right, next. All right, pop quiz. Which of the following are among the tools you can use to attract the religious market to Jordan? Understand their reasons, become familiar, understand, be able to be confident about communicating and the skills, um, appeal to the particular special Interest of diverse groups, utilize key in, um, itineraries. Um, you would say all of them? Yeah. That is correct. All right, take the exam. While most Jordan um, pilgrims to Jordan from North America are Christian, it is easy to adapt most religious itineraries to satisfy the needs of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim travelers. True. True. Okay. In Jordan, your religious clients can follow the footsteps steps of Joseph, jo Joseph, Jesus, Moses, John, all of them. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. 
All right, the Jordanian Interfaith Coexist and Research Center promotes Muslim Christian mutual respect and peaceful coexistence. True. Which of the following is noted as a site where the heavens opened twice, where Jesus was baptized and began his early ministry? Mount Nebo. Bethany beyond Jordan, ain't it? Oh, I thought that was the birthplace of Christianity. Which I thought Jesus was baptized there. Maybe I don't know. Now you got me questioning. I thought that was I know. Better. I thought it was Mount Nebo too, but what well, do you guys Nebo. Think? go Nebo. <laughs> we'll try Nebo. Which of the following is the site where Moses views the holy land, but he would never reach it? I don't remember. <laughs> Telemara Elias. Telemara Elias. All right, we'll try it. Which of the following is the site of the hilltop fortress of Herod the Great, where John the Baptist was imprisoned and beheaded? Anzara. Thank you. Which of the following areas was visited by Jesus, his mother Mary, and the disciples spent the time in the cave, now the site of the shrine to the Virgin Mary? No, I thought that was Mount Evil. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I know Melissa is saying Mukira. Mukira? Okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is to believe to be the birthplace of Elijah? Oh, mm -hmm. she's guessing. <laughs> yeah. Night, this, and, uh, this I, think, I think this is Telemar Elias again. I do. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, they'll let us take this over. Which of the following <laughs> biblical celebrations in Jordan takes place on the second or third Friday of the year? Many chose to travel to Bethany beyond Jordan to baptize their children on these dates. Mm. Virgin Mary feast celebration. Okay, that's what I thought. And which of the following is an archaeological site containing ruins from Roman Byzantine early Muslim civilization named as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unique blend of civilization? Petra. Petra, Petra. Petra that's what I guessed. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Let's oh, see what no. we missed we first. We need help. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we don't. Oh, no. That's going to make me go through the whole thing. Hold on. Let me get back there. So probably that first one that you said was Bethany was right. And it's instead of it being. Um, uh, All right. So here, Jordan. OK, this is this is true, right? I think. Yes. OK, guys, let's yeah. work together. In Jordan, your religious clients. OK, this is all of the above, right? Yep. The Jordan, Jordanian interfaith coexistence, that's true. That's true. Okay, now, opened up the heavens for, so here. This, I think, is Bethany beyond Jordan. Okay. okay. Bethany <laughs> beyond Jordan. Which of the following is the site where Moses viewed the Holy Land but never went? Is that the Telemar Elias? That look. might be Mount Nebo. Where Mount Nebo, did he went Moses to the never reach? He went, I think that, I think he went to the mountain, so it's Mount Nebo. Yeah. Hey. Which of the following is the site of the hilltop of Herod, where John the Baptist was beheaded? I'm Somebody going, Google it. I'm Googling it. I want to say. Where was John the Baptist beheaded? Cheater, cheater, pumpkin. <laughs> All right. Uh, Courtney was killed at the Palace Makaras, located near the Dead Sea. King mm -hmm. Harad, the palace occupied the there. The Makawar. The, the Makawar there. Yeah. yeah. That one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which of the following was visited by Jesus where they stayed in the cave? Where did Mary and Jesus and the disciples John. Stay in a cave and now a shrine to Virgin Mary. Bethany beyond the Jordan. I don't know. Where did Mary live at the resurrection? No. Where is the shrine to the Virgin Mary? I think it's Bethany. Uh, Blessed Mother France. Okay. Grotto. 
I'll put in Jordan. Jordan. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Lady of the Mountain, visit Jordan. Angara, I think it's Angara. That's what I thought. Okay. Which of the following is believed to be the birthplace of Elijah? What is no. the birthplace of Elijah? I think that's Telamara. We're not Tell doing too good if we have to Google. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot, though. That, All right. That, that's such, it was a lot. Yeah. It was Bethany. Um, Elijah was born in the village of Tishav in Galid in ancient Palestine. Old Testament. Tell me. Um, when was Elijah born? The original Tashiba? The birthplace of Elijah. Yeah. Old Testament. Elijah was born in the village of Tashebi in Galid in ancient Palestine. This is a, a trick question. Okay, it says Maybe the second place. Huh? Maybe it's a different Elijah. Yeah, let me look. Elijah defend. Okay, Greek was according Hebrew. I don't know. Anybody else want to Google and see? Dot born Toshiba. Keep saying Toshiba. Let's see. Let's pull up Toshiba and see. Um, Toshibite page for discussion. Modern day Jordan, the lead. Possible locations. Where? No, Corinth. No. Khalid Jordan River. Dang, I don't know. I wrote it. That's the one I think, Melissa. Here, tell them around. We'll put here. We'll put this one. All right. Which of the following celebrations? The I, don't think that, I don't think that's feast. I want to say that. Is it a memorial? The second celebrations in Jordan for baptizing children. The feast of the fifth uh, epiphany, somebody put in there. The feast of baptism. A feast and baptism just don't sound right together. I, I, I don't know. Things you should know <laughs> before being baptized baptism in the Jordan, feast of baptism of the Lord. Theophany is the feast commemorating baptism of Jesus. Epiphany, epiphany. epiphany, known as is a Christian feast day, celebrates the revelation. Um, on the other hand, commemorate. Well, the last time we put the Virgin Mary feast, so. So maybe try this one. Yeah. Try yeah. That one. All right. Which of the following archaeological archaeological site contains the ruins and UNESCO World Heritage Site. What is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Jordan as an archaeological site? Um, Petra, Kassar, um, Rasar, and Wadi Rum. It's Petra. Petra. All right, we only missed oh. one. <laughs> Let's see which one we missed. Let's see which one. Oh my gosh. Hold All on, right. you're going way too fast. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Can you go back. Okay, so if somebody wants to put these in there, it's true. All of the above. Oh, the last one we missed. True. Bethany. Mount Nebo. Mukherer. Amchara, <laughs> Telmar. Can you go back to five, please? Of Anthony, number five is Mount Nebo. And then number 10 is Um Arasas. All right. Well, at least we passed. Yay! I was right on two of them. Yay, Al congratulations. All right, so where are we at? Okay, so I think, oh, 
last chapter. Okay, so that's eight. Hopefully this one's, is this? This should be our last one. Yeah. Should be. All right, continue anyway. Hmm. And this is the one we did? Yep, we got this very last one. Well, I already did this, right? Yeah, but now go down a little further, Barney. <laughs> it's on your left hand side of your computer. Where it says yeah, it's just not saying it's saying. No, don't do the, Yeah, start chapter. Okay. Did you close that last one? Probably not. Which is why you didn't get the green bubble that it's been done. Okay. All right, so Adventure Travel Master Course. Last one, guys. Jordan, the next best place for your adventure travelers. Jordan offers thrilling, unique mix of experiences that satisfy the expectations of even the most hardcore adventures and thrill seekers. This plethora of experiences stretch over Jordan's matchless and diverse landscape, historic cities, iconic sites, safeguarded by the warm-hearted and hospitable Jordanians. Many operators offer Jordan packages appealing to the adventure traveler, combining adventure experience with the country's natural marvels and dramatic archaeological and cultural attractions from the ancient world. For a complete list of operators, click here. You'll get all the tour operators that are available. Photos are here. You can check out the photos, the videos, and then, of course, adventure travel. All right, so again, great one. This is one that I think I may even save just because, you know, it's special specialty. Go down to. Huh? You, you got to click, click on, on key points. points. Thank you. Dive into the Cedar Pride, one of the most thrilling shipwrecks of the Red Sea, a Quaba base jump in Wadi Rum, bike the Jordan bike travel trail, follow the Kingsway, one of the most picturesque ancient trade routes in the world, travel deeper and through the walk, the Jordan Trail for an off the beaten path journey through 52 local villages. How many? 52. Explore the serene landscape of the majestic Petra. All right, hiking and trekking, whether your clients have just a single day to vote, devote act, adventure activities or are seeking a longer experience in Jordan, they'll find unique experiences they'll never forget. There are hundreds of routes, canyons, hiking trails along the length of the country, mostly in the western hills and mountains over Jordan Rift Valley. Visit the Jordan Trail website for a sampling of the popular easy to medium routes in and around primary tourism sites of Jordan. Be sure to let your clients know that none of these should be attempted without a tour guide. You have short hikes, scramble Jabal Derberta, scale the summit, descend into the Grand Canyon, trek through impressive sandstone, float by the gushing uh, thermal waters of Wadi Zagar. And then you have the longer hikes, retrace ancient trade route, follow in the footsteps of Lawrence of Arabia, trekking through Wadi Rum, hike the Jordan Trail um, alongside the Great Rift Valley, um, overlooking rugged cliffs, et cetera. Then you have the map of all the ex exciting adventures. You have videos, and then you have the treks. Treks and trails. All right. Next. Which of the following are among Jordan's top attractions for adventure travelers? Check all that apply. Operators and packages, catering, chance to follow the footsteps, opportunity to combine adventure and thrilling unique. I'd say all of them. Yeah. That is correct. All right, how about biking tour, unique, extraordinary way to discover the country and Jordan. Fascinating country filled with history, rugged topography, and natural beauty is best explored on biking tours. Several operators offer specialty biking vacations in Jordan. Visit the biking trail um, and all details and optional tours available in Jordan. You have key points at Wadi Rum, bike through amazing desert landscapes at the mud flats of Dizzy, follow the route of Shabak Castle to Petra with magnificent views of the Wadi Araba Desert, Mount Nebo to Mukarar, past King Herod's Palace and magnificent views of the Dead Sea. 
And then of course the biking routes come up for you so you can plan for your clients. And then you have aqua sports. Everybody loves aqua sports. How about diving and snorkeling and spectacular goes around all year round, different species to be seen in different seasons. Over 30 main diving sites in Aquaba, most of them suitable for all levels of ability. Aquaba's coastline has fringing reef stretching for a distance of 25 kilometers. There are no offshore reefs. Some of the world's best snorkeling sites are packed along the roughly 20 kilometer coastline. For more information on diving the Red Sea, click here. Okay, there you go, pops you out of there. Then we want to go to key points. Over 30 major diving sites, fringing reef, um, stretching from the water's edge, 15 miles, canyons, pinnacles, and drop-offs. Most sites, when you're 328 feet from the shore, depths reach 160 feet, four feet or more. Excellent coral conditions, outstanding biodiversity, 5.6 miles of South Coast protected by the Marine Park where divers can explore dozen of dive sites. Water skiing is available in Aquaba for all levels from beginners to experts. You can choose less, take lessons from qualified instructors and choose a variety of skis. Parasailing, clients can parasail either on their own or with a partner soaring above the Red Sea and view Aquaba from the city. And then windsurfing, selection, wide selection, sailboats, boards, and sails are available in Aquaba to accommodate each client's individual level. Aqua sport companies give instructions to guests so they can learn to catch the breeze and ride the waves. Here's the diving map for your clients. Let them know. And dive sites are here also. <clears throat> All right, next. So match each adventure. So wide selection of boats. That is the sailing and windsurfing. Four countries, okay. Um, descend into the Grand Canyon. I would probably say that may be here. Explore dozens of marine life. I'd say there. Travel Kings Highway, one of the most picturesque. I would say biking maybe parasailing. What do you think? That's what I put. Okay. We'll see. So descend, travel the King's Highway, dozen sites, four countries, and sailboats. Screenshot that. Those are all correct. Okay, correct. <laughs> okay, almost done. Aerosports. Jordan offers numerous aerosports, skydiving, micro light flying, hot air ballooning, parachuting along the single engine flight. Club is located in the thriving aquatic city of Akoba, 31 miles from Wadi Ram and is open daily throughout the year for constant warm climate of this coastal resort. Royal Aero Sports of Jordan, internationally renowned for parachuting, hot air ballooning. Clients may start their day hot air ballooning, ballooning um, skydiving above the breathtaking desert scape of Wadi Rum and end their day relaxing by the shores of the Red Sea. And rock climbing. Most rock climbing means Wadi Rum with its famous adventure sites. Besides the climbs through this fantastic desert scenery, there are beautiful limestone cliffs to be climbed all around. Check Climbing Jordan for topo maps and directions to other climbing areas. Wadi Rum is the most world class climbing area that is considered to be the one of the best desert climbing areas in the world. The climbs often, that's Wadi Rum, climbs often exceed the quality and length of those places on the Italian Dolomites. It offers hundreds of routes on sandstone cliffs with multi-pitch climbs. There are climbs reaching 5,577 feet, varying between grade three and five in difficult difficulty. Clients must book these climbs in advance and be accompanied by an experienced Bedouin uh, guide. Motorcycling is surprising one of the fastest growing pursuits in Jordan. This activity combines freedom, excitement, and limited opportunities for exploration. Motorbiking tourists are promised stunning scenery and unparalleled history sites, all linked with a good network of roads. Um, Al Hima to Umkus, right along the borders of three nations. Mount Nebo to Saran, panor panoramic views of the Holy Land. Dead Sea Highway to Dead Sea Panorama across Wadi Mujab, Wadi Hassa, the Grand Canyons of Jordan. Kadisara to Dana Guesthouse, unraveling views of Wadi Dana. 
and Thena to Little Petra, a superb journey through time. All right, and then motorcycling, unable to open that. All right, almost done. I'm almost done, guys. All right. Enhance the experience, incorporate opportunities to mix with local people. One of the great joys of traveling is meeting people and discovering the enrichment of seeing a different way of life through their eyes. Um, make your trip to Jordan full of new faces and places, introducing yourself to people from diverse professional and so socioeconomic backgrounds. The one common factor among all is an innate sense of hospitality that always leaves you loving and appreciating people of Jordan more and more. Travel with genuine um, desire to learn from Jordan's authentic culture and pride. Tourism can be safeguard for natural resources, especially when responsible tourism is being practiced, one of which the benefits of the local inhabitants of the area to encourage them to maintain and safeguard the integrity of their natural system. All right. And then right here, Jordan again takes you back um, uh, now. All right. Now. Okay. All right. And next next adventure of travel operators hundreds of jordanian tour operators dealing with incoming tourism but a few which specialize in adventure travel taking people off the beaten track and fewer still can take you out of the tourist destination for one-on-one -on -one encounters with local people a good source for a list of specialized tour operators is adventure travel to jordan is the adventure travel trade association Part of the preparation for trekking in Jordan must involve familiarization with the dangers of flash floods, especially in these clients intend to walk in narrow valleys and canyons. Even in the desert, deluges um, can be life-threatening. Canyons should be avoided during rainy season for best and safest experience. It's important to book these travelers with Jordan tour operators who specialize in adventure. Pop quiz. Click and drag the correct information. Clients can skydive, parachute, or go hot air balloon on breath, breathtaking terrain, terrain. Considered one of the best desert climbing areas in the world, Royal Motorcycling Club of Jordan has developed several GPS tracks. Is that true? Incorporating opportunities to mix with local people. I know that. Is this true? Anybody? Yes, no? I put, yeah. Okay. All of them. That's correct. All, All of them. Mm -hmm. All right, we are done. Let's take our final exam. Many Jordan operators offer packages appealing to the combining adventure travel. That is true. Seven. Most of Jordan hiking routes are located in which region? Mm, yeah, so what? Was it Rift Valley? I'm gonna say Rift Valley. Which of the following is are among the routes bikers may enjoy in Jordan? All of the above. There are over 30 main diving sites in Aquaba, most suitable for all levels. Perfect. Numerous aerosport activities, skydiving, parachuting, hair, hot air ballooning, which is located in, where was aerosports located? So, so. Aquaba. Okay. okay. Motor biking enthusiasts are promised stunning scenery, unparalleled link with good network of roads. I would say true. Yeah. Which of the following is considered one of the best desert climbing areas in the world? Is that Wadi Rum? Yes. <clears throat> Last one, resources are available to assist you to greatly enhance Jordan vacation by arranging opportunities to mix with locals. Yeah, 100% guys. Did everybody pass? I'm stuck on chapter seven. Like it okay. won't let me get past a certain point. Okay, just make sure you click on every, go into each one and click because there's some that pop up after. Can you review um, one through four? Please? Yep. Okay, number one is true. Number two is Jordan Rift. Number three is all of the above. Number four is true. Number five is Aquaba. 
Number six is true. Wadi rum and true. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. So all those lines are just everything just went away. It's I telling know. me to do chapter I know, out too. All right. So just go back into my is what is it? Travel Agent Academy. Log in. Go back to Jordan. Well, you may be able to go to your dashboard and see your certificate. Hopefully it shows you're done. Certificate, let's see. Jordan, right here, as I said, it's got the adventure and the general course. So we are a master and the general course. Print them both, guys. Get them out. Advertise. Let people know you can do these Holy Land tours for them. You guys are now specialists of Jordan. Again, if you missed any, um, Kathy, don't worry. I have it recorded um, and we will um, post it on my YouTube channel. So again, congratulations, everybody. Um, we're going to be doing uh, Palms, or no, tomorrow we're doing Royal Caribbean Part 2. So again, if you haven't done Royal Caribbean, guys, the first part is right here. I would recommend jumping on and doing it now so that way you um, have it done for tomorrow if you join us. If not, I will be um, posting it on here anyway, okay? So and again, the, congratulations, everybody. I'm excited for you. Um, any questions? Uh, Tuesday, we're doing Palm Springs and Mammoth. And then on Friday, Anaheim, Huntington Beach, and Mar Mariner. Mariner. Okay. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys. Congratulations. Um, looking forward to next month. And um, I'm going to go have lunch with my son, who's now a detective. So um, you guys have a great time. Um, Christine, I'm going to get with you to finalize the calendar. And I'll get that posted in our chat group. So be sure to watch for that. You can plan the month in advance. We're doing New Orleans, U.S. National Parks, Philippines, Finland, Scotland, Greece. And then hopefully Seven Wonders of the World, Disney AM Resorts. Bora Bora, I got to look at. And then also um, we wanted to do CLIA, some trainings on CLIA, okay? All right, you guys have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks guys. See Thank you so much. Bye. Post those certificates. <laughs>